So guys, now that you know that I have completed my one year of the YouTube channel and it's been an amazing journey and thank you so much, you know, it wouldn't have been possible without you guys and your support and your love and yeah, thank you so much. I just feel so blessed to have you all, uh, all my viewers, subscribers, my well wishers, thank you so much. It's been like a very long journey. So I always wanted to have a camera which is my dream camera and I wanted that way before I started vlogging. So finally after one year my parents, my mom and dad, they gifted me my favorite camera which is the Canon G7X Mark II camera. So Canon, yeah Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II camera. So my mom and dad gifted me with this camera on completing one year of my YouTube channel so I'm going to do some unboxing of this camera like professionals do and I have one more thing along with that so I'll obviously show that later but yeah let's do the unboxing first okay so let's first open this box so it... so when you open this box you just find all this manual and warranty cards and stuff so this is it then in this box you get the battery charger so this is like a battery charger and the cords like maybe like an adapter or something so it works actually like an adapter but i'll show you this is one of my dream cameras man I always wanted to have this okay so this is like a battery charger and you place the Canon battery inside this one and you know you just have to attach this cord and put it on charging then along with this you get Canon battery and a 16 uh, GB memory card which is you get free with this so you can use it for some time you can click some nice pictures so here it is the Canon battery so you have to put the battery inside this battery charger and put it on charge so when it's charging it shows orange and when it's full it shows green so that you know that your battery is completely charged now then um, there is this memory card this is the SanDisk 16 GB or memory card you know you can use it for like few days click pictures you know learn how to handle the camera what are the angles the focus and everything so yeah here is the 16 GB SanDisk G uh, memory card which comes in a case and the final product the final everything the big man is the Canon camera 
the G7X Mark II camera. My dream camera. I'm going to show it to you guys now. So, this is the camera. You know, I just have to, you know, this is this strap is also, you know, I got this in the box only. So for a safer side, I have put this because I'm very excited right now. So I don't want to fall my camera. <laughs> so yeah, I'm putting the strap. And yeah, this is how the camera looks like. So this is the lens. Not, not the lens. Okay, this is the lens. This is the mirror, like the screen or the viewfinder you call. And yeah, I'm just trying to learn, you know, things about the camera. So, okay, it's okay, fine. This is how it comes up. Okay, I'll put the battery inside and I'll, you know, show you. So now I've put the battery and the memory card that I got. So I've put it inside and show you from where you have to put the memory card and the battery. So see, this is the camera. So at the bottom, there is this, you know, a section where you have to open it and put your battery and the memory card. So I've put the battery and the memory card. So I have locked it. And now the time is here to see how this works. So first let me just open this, the viewfinder or the mirror, whatever you want to call it. And here we go. So here is the power button, this one, if you can see, on off, okay. Then there is this two uh, buttons where you can, you know, put it on auto mode or, you know, you can just check out in the settings, like what kind of an focus you want or you know the lights and everything okay so yeah this is obviously the viewfinder or the mirror then here you have the video recording button you have the delete option play your videos menu and some other stuff which i'm still trying to figure out so yeah i'm still learning guys i'm still learning then we have a flash option also so i'll show you the flash things but first let's here we go so yeah where am i okay let me see myself um i just can't see myself yeah so right now guys currently i am filming in my phone if you can see yeah so this is me wait I'll just show you something very nice so I am actually recording myself I don't know if you guys can see this or not but yeah now you can now you can so I'm absolutely loving this camera. Uh, also, there are so many options and so many modes in this and I'm still trying to, you know, learn. As I said, I'm not used to filming on cameras or using cameras. Like this is my first time camera that I've owned, um, gifted to me by my mom and dad, obviously. But yeah, this is my first ever, first ever camera. And I'm going to start shooting from this. So I guess, um, this video is the last video that I'm shooting on my phone. Uh, rest of the videos will be shot from the camera. So you guys will know the difference and I'll obviously tell you. So yeah, these are all the settings and functions, everything in this. I just um, don't know how to say this because I am really not aware about the camera. But I'm learning. And yeah, for the flash thing, you get this small button over here, which you have to pull down and the flash comes up like this. And then, and yeah, there is one more option in this, which is the Wi-Fi. You can connect this to the Wi-Fi and, you know, you can transfer your pictures and stuff. And also there are like the USB thing, so you can... 
put your USB cable and transfer your pictures again. So this is like a very nice compact camera yet a powerful one. So you know it is like a, I think a must have camera if you want to you know like do vlogging or even to click pictures this is like one of the powerful camera and the compact one easy to carry easy to handle and I absolutely love it so this is my most precious thing and I'll you know take care of it so guys here's a picture and this is how I used to film my videos as to put my phone on a selfie stick and just you know try to adjust it somewhere so that it doesn't shake and is to film my video so for one year I have did that and I really respect and appreciate my phone my Samsung A7 that my phone was with me throughout the year and it never you know gave me any problems so yeah thank you so much my Samsung phone and yeah there's one more thing that I have to show you guys is my uh, camera tripod stand so I'm going to show that to you So uh, this tripod stand is from Digitech, you can see this is from Digitech and it's a very nice heavy duty um, tripod stand and it's heavy as well. So you know these are all these things where you can adjust the height and stuff so this actually works so you know when you rotate it you know it comes up when you just rotate it back again it goes down so this is the thing and again you have to place your camera up here on this so this is also like this can be removed as well so this is the lock so when you actually remove it and place it back again with your camera you just have to lock it like this so there is this thing return on it uh, which is lock and free if you can see so here is the lock and here is the free so you know you just have to free this up first and then you can remove it so yeah I removed it and I'm placing it back again and you just have to be like very 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 careful with this because obviously you have your camera up over this so one uh, tip I would like to give is key remove it remove this disc put your camera on this and then try to put it back because if you will directly put your camera over this you won't be able to fix it because this thing this screw needs to be tight enough so that your camera doesn't shake or it doesn't move so you have to be very careful with this because you obviously don't want your camera to fall down so please be careful make sure that you're using it properly and then you just have to put this back in this goes back again and again you have this thing just to you know like take some nice wide angle shots or something you know creating some transitions so this can be used so you know you can like rotate this if you're shooting you know so yeah again like a very nice um, tripod stand heavy duty any camera would work on this so Digitech has some very nice tripod stands I'm going to list down the link for the camera um, and this tripod stand you know you can also buy this online but for camera I would suggest you to go and get it from the shops so these are all like stuff you know to just loose and tight you know just to adjust all the things but make sure that you you know do the full setup first and then place your camera so that you know it works better so this is the tripod stand so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video uh, thank you so much for you know your love your support and thank you so much it really makes me happy all the subscribers and all the viewers thank you so much I hope you'll keep supporting me as I just want us to grow into millions and billions and yeah, thank you so much. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Thank you mom and dad for this amazing surprise gift. I always wanted to have a Canon G7X Mark II camera. I just can't stop saying it. But thank you so much. 
and yeah i hope you enjoyed watching today's video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell post notifications so that you get updated every time i post a new video and please don't forget to add me on my social media so the links the names are here and the links are there down in the description so please don't forget to you know add me there as well and i'll see you guys in my next video